What's up my YT homies? This is Salifia coming in at you with another video. Alright, my bang is just not cooperating. Let me say that. Let me say that. It is just... It's doing the absolute most, you know. I mean, I should have probably pinned this hair up or something. So let me, let me, let me get this right. Let me get this right. Okay. So I think I can rock with this. In this video, I am going to talk about the controversial topic. It shouldn't be. But the topic of parents having a dress code to go to schools... Um, whether I guess whether it be to drop the students off. I don't think it's to drop the children off, but I think it may be to come into meetings or whatever. But I saw um, on Facebook that there's this principal that is supposedly implementing a dress code for parents, being that they don't wear bonnets and they don't wear um, pajamas to go to the schools. And some people are in their feelings. <laughs> Some people, let me repeat that, are in their feelings about this woman wanting parents to come to school looking decent, being decent and in order. Now, let me first say this. First off, I'm a person that if it's a bonnet, I'm not wearing it outside my house. Um, I wear bonnets at night to sleep in sometimes, not all the time, but I'm not wearing it outside of my house because it is a what? Night garment. It's a head garment that you wear at night to do what? Protect your hair. This woman is now just learning the new dress code as she was picking up her child. Basically, what you're wearing right now uh, on your head is not allowed in there. <laughs> So first off, let me say this. I'm not going out the house with it on my head. However, I do know some people that may go places just to maybe drop some their children off or something like that, but they're not getting out of the car that may have them on. Now, I, I don't even agree with that, but at least they're not going inside of a business. Okay, now, before I go further with my how I feel, let me say one thing that has really, really ticked me off about the whole situation is the... This ideal, this concept that it is a black woman's mantra or whatever to wear a bonnet. The hell you say? No, it's not. James Madison High School parent is referring to this letter issued by the school's principal, Carletta Outlay Brown, addressing guests and parents on a dress code they must follow. In the letter, the principal says, quote, Parents, we do value you as a partner in your child's education. You are your child's first teacher. However, please know we have to have standards. Most of all, we must have high standards. Among new guidelines listed on the letter include preventing anyone from entering the building or even being on school premises wearing a sand cap or a bonnet on their head. Shower caps of any kind are also not allowed. Hair rollers will no longer be permitted. And I've seen where people have said that it's racially profiling, racially discriminatory or whatever. First of all, I've seen white people outside with bonnets on. So that can go out the window. Plus, I've never seen where a bonnet has on the label for black women only. Never seen that. Now, there may be a black woman on the packaging, but it doesn't say for black women only. So to say that people are trying to put stipulations or to say that it's racially profiling, that's just ludicrous okay it's, it's crazy it's insane but to say that people are trying to put more stipulations on black women okay no black women should have already had that stipulation for themselves i guess that's because i have this on my head you're saying i can't go in there yes that's the new dress code I don't know who this new principal is, but she is out of control. And she when I was growing up, my mom taught me to go out of the house looking decent and in order. Here's the problem with wearing a bonnet and wearing pajamas out of the house. I don't care if they're Scooby-Doo, Avengers, Marvels, whatever the case may be. They can be doggone brats if they're still making pajamas in, in the brat style. I don't care what style they are. Pajamas are not to be worn outside. It burns me up when I see children outside with pajamas on. And come to think of children with pajamas on. Let me just say that as a school teacher... For those of you that may be coming across this video and do not know, I am a high school teacher. I have seen some items being worn that should not be worn. And where do students get this mentality from that you can wear these certain things to school or to anywhere else? 
they get it from their parents. I don't care what people say. People love to put stipulations on us as teachers and act like we are the ones that are to teach your children manners, respect, their ABCs, one, two, threes, their, uh, I mean, everything. We're, we're just supposed to teach them everything. I'm sorry, we're not. It is up to parents to teach their children how to act, what to wear and what not to wear, and all that good jazz. These guidelines were put in place after Channel 2 News brought you this story of a Madison High School mother earlier this month who wasn't initially able to enroll her daughter because of what she was wearing and what was on her head. Parents we spoke to today don't agree with the new rules. I, I think it's ridiculous because they don't know the situation. You know, I had an emergency today. So the parents are the first ones they see doing this so they emulate what they see and if they see their parents going out of si outside with bonnets on their head they think it's okay to come to school with bonnets on their head school is a business just like anywhere else is a business you know how they have this saying that people going to there's there has been this meme i've seen before showing that people going to walmart looking a certain way versus people that go into target and <laughs> contrary to popular belief there is some truth to that but with that being said should there be like this ooh you go here people look this way going there and people look that way going there should no um because like i said at the end of the day it's a business a school is a business and if you go if you go to a job interview are you going to go to that job interview with a bonnet on your head if you're going to sit down and have a meeting or a conference with teachers and administrators why are you sitting there in front of them with a bonnet on your head if you're going to class to do work, why are you sitting in the classroom like, you know, you're at home at your desk at home if you have one doing work? It's just not what you do. And lastly, before I get out of here, let me just say this or ask this question. How many parents would be fine with teachers going to school with pajamas on? How many parents would be fine with teachers going to school with a bonnet on or a satin scarf? Not the satin decorative scarf, but the scarf that you sleep in. How many parents would be fine with that? Because if parents can do it and students can do it, then why not let teachers do it, administrators do it, and all that good jazz? Why not let all of us do it? I mean, when in Rome, you know, let everybody just go ahead and join the crowd. You know, why not? Everybody go ahead and just wear the pajamas and wear the scarves and wear the uh, bonnets and all that kind of stuff. Let's just all go to school like it's a big old pajama party. If teachers are held to a certain standard, teachers and administrators, I believe that students and parents should be held to the same standards as well. Not only that, regardless to what position you work, what job you work, there are things that are appropriate for outside, for businesses or what have you, and there are things that are appropriate for inside of your home. And wearing bonnets and wearing scarves and wearing pajamas are just not appropriate to go into businesses. And like I said, at the end of the day, the school is a business. And I myself, I have a child that is in school. I am not, I would never go to her school with pajamas on. I would never go to her school with a bonnet on or a headscarf and stuff like that. Now, mind you, there are times where we have events like homecoming and all that where students may have a pajama day or something. And that's one thing. That is one thing. But to wear pajamas, boxes, whatever, I mean, sometimes, you know, you just, it's just certain things you don't do. And I think that having a standard for parents is perfectly fine and if someone does not agree with that then that's on them um but like i say you know it's just it is what it is and it's just in my opinion it's just not appropriate so with that being said i'm gonna catch on up out of here with this video and until the next time and in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe thank you so much for coming to watch another one of my videos please comment like subscribe and share this video across all your social media sites and until the next time and in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and i will do what catch you on the flip side bye